Uh -uh Uh-uh-uh, don't turn that dial. This is the right station if you want to hear some more about Jonathan Thomas and his Christmas on the Moon. Well, I'll bet all you children are anxious to hear if we're going to have any Christmas this year. For, of course, that depends upon Jonathan Thomas and how well he'll be able to keep his promise to rescue old Santa from Squee Bobble Land. And if he does, well, wouldn't that be grand? Now the man on the moon and Gorgonzola the horse are helping Jonathan Thomas, of course. But in spite of the fact that they learned how to say the magic of on, squee, on, squee, giggly, bay, the wicked old witch of Rumpelstitch set her kettle of trouble to boil and bubble. But the good fairy queen said she'd spoil her scheme, and she's been their very good friend and helped them no end. For she gave them a magical acorn to take that would be a sure cure to keep all of them awake. For she said it would be fatal if they fell asleep as they went through the nightmare forest so deep. But Jonathan Thomas, he fell right off the horse. And that was the worst that could happen, of course, for he went sound asleep, which was really quite sad. And Whiskery Bill felt ever so bad, till the good fairy queen said only a rose as red as a ruby held close to his nose could wake him up. But for miles around, there wasn't a red, red rose to be found until Whiskery Bill met a rose bush fair who grew them a rose that was ever so rare. But on the way back, on the river of ice, they all fell in, and that wasn't so nice. But the walrus said, climb up on my head, we'll show that old witch that we're not dead. And he swam the river, for it made them shiver. Then they reached the forest so deep, where Jonathan Thomas lay fast asleep. And they woke him up with the red, red rose. And it was just in time, my goodness knows. And then, well, you'll hear for yourself. For here's where the story begins again. Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. We must go through the ice and snow to such an awful trial. So... Don't you worry, because we will hurry, and we won't fail, because when we're done, we'll bring back one who's known as Santa Claus. Please, Mr. Man in the Moon, when do you suppose we'll get there? When we arrive, of course. (laughs) Anyone knows that, even the horse. Oh, but I wish it would be pretty soon, because I... Wait a minute, Jonathan Thomas. What's that noise? Oh, it sounds like my Uncle Bill does when he snores. I hope it isn't a dragon with his 13 tails of wagon. Hello. <sighs> Ditto. My gracious to goodness and sakes alive. What are you trying to do? Frighten us half to death? A half and a half equals one and one and one equals two. So if you were frightened half to death, you couldn't take a breath, for the one that was dead would be you. <laughs> Ditto. My goodness. Who are you? That's no riddle. My name's Tiddle, and this is my brother. He wink. Get it? Tiddle. He wink. A oh, forty winks. winks. Oh, but I always thought Tiddle de winks was a game. Gee whiz, what if it is? We should worry or care if the name of the game is the same as our name. We're willing to be fair and square, only we're not because we're ugly and round. Oh, but what are you standing into that umbrella for? To keep from getting wet. (laughs) Ditto. But it's not raining. Of course it isn't, under our umbrella. It isn't even raining out here, so how could you get wet? You're the silliest person I ever met. How does anybody ever get wet? That's what I'd like to know. <sighs> Ditto. It's easy. You just stand around till the rain comes down, and then you're very well set. And then you wheeze and sleeze and cough and sneeze. And the reason for that is you're soaking wet. Well, it's as easy as climbing up a tree backwards. But that's not easy. That's very hard to do. It might be for you, but not for me. And I'll do it, too, if you want to see. <sighs> Ditto. No, thank you. If you please, we haven't got time. Then maybe you'd like to see us fight. We can fight so as it makes a terrible sight. 
We go biff and crash and sock and smash and tumble and fall willy-nilly and hammer and push till we're really quite silly. I think you're a little bit silly already. Oh, that's just because you haven't noticed steady. Come on, Jonathan Thomas, we'd better go. Where are you going? That's what I'd like to know. Way to the land of Squee Bubble, of course. All the way on that old horse. You just leave our horse alone. Because we're going to rescue Santa Claus. Oh, but you can't do that because... Why because? Because he's made some laws. That's why because. And I bet you can't stand on your head and eat strawberry jam. Of course I can't. And besides, I don't want any strawberry jam. You couldn't have any if you did. On account of the rule. What rule? Oh, my gracious, what a fool. If you take a look at the king's rule book... Jiminy crickets and flub dudge. You're talking through your hat. I am? <laughs> well, think of that. Who is this king you're talking about? Shh. You're not supposed to shout. I'm not shouting. Well, you're not whispering either, because if you were, I couldn't hear you. <laughs> Ditto. Who's the king? He's a lion who right now is trying to get some sleep. Oh, is that who's snoring? Yep, and I wouldn't wake him up. That's what he told us to say, to shush him right up so as not to wake him up. All the people who come this way. Oh, I shouldn't like to wake up a lion. Well, we've got to go lion or no lion. <laughs> oh, who said that? Who said that? That's what I'd like to know. Oh, Mr. Man in the Moon. He's waked up. we better hurry. Oh, no, that's not the course. Just hold your horse. And don't get yourself all in a flurry. Are you the king of this forest, Mr. Lion? Don't call me that. Don't call you what? Lion, lion, lion. That's what everybody calls me. And I'm not lying. I'm telling the truth. I haven't done any lying since last night. And you have to lie once in a while, or you couldn't go to sleep. Unless you can sleep standing up, which I can. Oh. Well, now, don't get upset, Mr. Lion. Don't call me that. Well, then, oh, what should we call you if we can't call you Mr. Lion? Oh, Lund? don't say it. Don't say it. Well... I mean it. We can't call you, um, you know. Oh, I wish I knew. I've thought and thought and thought and thought. Uh, uh, hmm, uh, how many thoughts is that? Seven, I think. That's what I thought. But as much as I think, I don't get a good name for myself. All I ever get is a headache. Maybe you should take something for it. Oh, no, I shouldn't. It's bad enough to be accused of lying. Without being accused of taking things, too. Yeah, uh, maybe you could think up a good name for me. I don't know. No. No, no, that's not good, no. I, I don't know it is much too much like my other name. Because if someone was to ask me my name and I said, I don't know, they'd think I was stupid and I wouldn't blame them. Well, the, um, why can't you just pick out any name? Oh, names aren't like blueberries. You can't pick them. Oh, dear. It's such a hopeless task. I, I could just ball, that's what I could do. Just ball, and I think I will, if you'll excuse me. <laughs> oh, my goodness, Mr. Man in the Moon. Can't we think up a name for your lion? <laughs> Jiminy Crickets and Sully Gig. We've got to hurry up and rescue Santa Claus. And not spend our time thinking up names for people. Yeah. <laughs> For goodness sakes to gracious, and oh, Jai Graf. Uh, what did you say? I said, for goodness sakes to gracious, oh, Jai Graf. Oh, that's it. That's it. What's it? Yes, what's it? Oh, Jai Graf. It's a beautiful name. A most gorgeous name. Oh, Jai Graf. King of the forest. Truthful, oh, Jai Graf. The genuine, jaunty, and jolly judge of the jungle. <laughs> we 
without fear of jeer or jest or joke. Oh, 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 oh. be jabers, I'm joyous. <laughs> Thank you, my friend. Thank you a million trillion times. <laughs> and now you must come home for dinner. What, Mister? Oh, um... Joy Graf's the name, <laughs> and you're to blame. But hurry up, and we'll go home and tell Mrs. O'Jigraf to put another quart of water in the stew, <laughs> and then we'll have enough for you, and you, and you, and uh, uh, who else now? Let me see now. Uh, who can it be? I, I, <laughs> uh, of course it's me. <laughs> oh, here we go home to dinner, for you've just picked the winner. I'm glad you came, for now I'll have fame. <laughs> oh, Jai Graf is the name. Oh, here, here we go, go home, home to dinner, dinner, for we just picked a winner. winner. I'm glad we came, for now he has fame. Oh, Jai Graf. Well, there they go, down the forest road to the house of Mr. Lion. Oh, I beg your pardon. I mean, Mr. O'Jigraph. And they'd better have a good dinner, too, because they'll need it. But with all the adventures they're going to have on the road to Sweep Land, and I wonder what'll happen next. But we'll find out in the next story of Jonathan Thomas and his Christmas on the Moon, won't we? Of course we will. <laughs> 